When you enter a black hole, you are removed from the universe. No matter or light will re-emerge from within, and no information can be sent out. There is a minuscule region of space at the center of the hole called a singularity, which contains the mass of the black hole in a space that is a hundred billion billion times smaller than an atomic nucleus. The region from the singularity to the event horizon is nearly empty, with the exception of falling gases that were sucked into the hole, as well as the radiation that they're emitting from being superheated. If the hole was not spinning, it would be a perfect sphere with a singularity at the center. Near the singularity, the warping of space is tremendous. Space is so distorted there that normal Euclidean geometry can no longer be applied. The interior angles of a triangle would no longer add up to 180 degrees, they would be greater than 180 degrees. If you try to compute the radius of the black hole from the singularity at its center to the event horizon, you could no longer use the formula that radius is equal to circumference divided by 2 pi. For example, within a fraction of a centimeter around the singularity, the radius of space could be millions of kilometers. Near the singularity, the spacetime in the region is very chaotic. Spacetime oscillates in a non-predictable pattern that will stretch and squeeze objects in various directions, which gets stronger and stronger the closer you get to the singularity. As materials fall in, there's a point where the tidal forces are infinitely strong and the oscillations become infinitely rapid. It is here, in these calculated infinities, that spacetime ceases to exist. Since nothing is truly infinite, this is where new rules exist that govern the behavior of reality, the laws of quantum gravity. Beyond this, and spacetime no longer exists as a unification of both time and space. In fact, time itself vanishes. And there is no longer a way to say that something happens before something else. Space remains but takes on a different nature. It has no specific shape or curvature anymore. Instead, it's characterized probabilistically. It can take on any curvature or topology, and in each situation has a probability associated with it. This is very strange, and this condition is referred to as quantum foam.